Hello my amazing babes and welcome to the Bad Bitch Academy. It's your girl Amber the Baddie and I am here showing you the behind the scenes of everything inside of my stripper course. So if you are new here or if you've seen my videos, you've seen me talk about my stripper course and you're like, okay, that sounds interesting, but like, what does it actually include? What do I really get? And fuck being mysterious, I'm going to show you exactly what you will see behind the scenes when you purchase my Empowered Stripper course. So, going to the back end, once you purchase the course, you are going to come to my website and it is going to have this screen. And just so you know, the course is self-paced. You've got lifetime access. You can bounce around and move to any of these modules whenever you want. You don't have to do it in order, although it was intended to be in order, but you can absolutely skip around. And let's just dive into exactly what you're going to learn. So the first module is the introduction. So I talk about what you need to succeed in this course. I give a little intro about me and who I am in my journey so that you know exactly who you're learning from. Module one is the strip club 101 where I just talk about like the basics of how a strip club works, what can you expect, and I answer some frequently asked questions that a lot of people usually ask me. Module two is getting into the ground rules. So what are these ground rules that every dancer should know that is really going to set you up to be successful in this industry? I talk about boundaries with customers. How do you, for one, know what your own boundaries are and know how to communicate that with customers and also know how to walk away or how to deal with it when a customer is pushing your boundaries? Next, we talk about boundaries with your family and friends. So here's the thing. It can get tricky. I've lost a lot of friendships. I have some sticky, icky relationships with my family members because I'm a stripper. And I've had to set some boundaries in place so that I'm not getting disrespected, taken advantage of. And I kind of just share all of those tips with you in this video. Then we go into important safety tips, how to stay safe on the job and protect yourself from some of the crazy customers that you're going to meet. And then we talk about some of the hard truths that baby strippers need to hear, things that you might not expect, but you need to be prepared for being in this industry because it is a hard industry. It is not all thousand dollar nights and freedom of schedule. There's a lot of shit we go through and I'm just preparing you for that in this video. Moving on to module three, I love this module so much. So this is all about creating your stripper alter ego and your stripper persona. Because for me, when I look at my growth, the moment that I started to create a stripper persona for myself is when I started to double and triple my money. Because as a person, especially when I was a baby stripper, I would have a hard time asking for money right? Or telling people, no, I was a huge people pleaser. I felt super uncomfortable asking for dances. I would hear girls say, oh yeah, I asked him for a $500 tip and I'd be like, oh my God, I could never. I would be so nervous. So when I created a stripper alter ego, I can have a new persona and she has her own set of beliefs, her own traits. She talks a certain way. She walks into a room feeling a different vibration and that makes it so much easier for me to step into this persona and kind of get out of my comfort zone at work. And it's going to help you too. Module four, the art of seduction. So I really talk about how to embody your sexy, sensual vixen, how to seduce what the art of seduction really entails, and how to seduce your customers from your first interaction all the way through every second that they are with you in the club. Then I have a dance class, it's about 45 minutes long, where I teach you exactly how to perform on stage without doing any pole tricks. There's so many of you who are like, oh, I can't be a stripper, I don't know how to dance, I don't know pole tricks, I gotta first start taking pole classes. Bullshit. You don't need to. And I show you my 10, I think there's going to be 10 moves that I do. And I just rotate while I'm on stage. 
and I made up to $600 from one stage. That's like six minutes of dancing on stage and making like 600 fucking bucks by doing zero pole tricks, not twerking a lot because my booty don't know how to shake. And I teach you that as well. Then I talk about how to give a lap dance and I've got a little sexy introduction with my husband. I have some affirmations to help you feel sexy as fuck. You might have seen these on my YouTube channel. Um, then I talk about the body language of a seductress, how to walk in a sexy way, how to sit, how you really just showing you how to exist sexily. And this applies in the club and out of the club. Um, but yes, your body language is such an important expression of your sensuality. And then I talk about how to spice up your stage presence. So it goes even deeper with like not just how to dance on stage, but really how to level up your stage presence. Moving on to module five, I talk about getting started. So finding your club and landing your audition, then choosing your club and your preferred shift. So if you've got a couple of different options of clubs of where to work, is it a gentleman's club, an urban club, a topless bar, a full nude? And then what kind of shifts is best for you? Are you a afternoon girl during the week? Do you like the weekends? Are you a night girl? And I kind of talk about the different vibes that every shift in these different types of clubs have. Then this video is if you didn't get hired, watching this will help you understand why you got rejected and what you can do about it so you don't get rejected again. The next video is what is in my stripper bag and I literally just take everything out of my stripper bag and show you exactly what I bring with me to work every day. Now this video, I've thought really hard about putting this on my YouTube channel, but I decided not to, but what to wear based on your body type. So helpful because we all have different bodies. You might be super skinny, you might have curves, you might be thick or have titties or no ass. And I really dive into exactly what types of outfits and accessories go with different body types. I've got pictures, I've got examples, and I kind of like build out some outfits for you of like, okay, if you have no titties but a big ass and thick thighs, this is the kind of outfit that's gonna work for you and why. Next, I just made this video today actually, but about tipping the club staff so that you don't get scammed. We all tip the people that we work with, but you don't want to get taken advantage of. Um, and you don't want to give away all your money to the staff who is getting paid hourly. So I talk about who you should tip, how much you should tip them, and how to create different partnerships and relationships with the staff so that they are bringing you customers and making you money and that you are tipping them and helping them make more money in return as well. Then I've got this video about analyzing your nights, and I've included some journal questions as a little downloadable document that you can have, but really looking back at your night and saying, okay, what worked really well for me? What didn't work? Was I in the right energy? Were there certain lines that I said that really sold them? Did I get a big tip? And really just analyzing your night so that you can perfect your craft, because this is a craft, and we are always leveling up and becoming better and better at it. So analyzing your nights are going to really help. I've got some stripper self-care tips. I've got a 20-minute after-work self-care ritual. We are going to stretch and meditate and feel gratitude for the money that we made and also cut any energetic cords to what might have happened that night. And then I've got some stripper advice for your first day, things that you are going to want to hear before starting at the club. Moving on to module six. This module is literally worth the entire price of my fucking course. Oh, it's, let's get into it. So first there's the introduction where I talk about the magic that is happening in this module. So Finesse is all about making money, all these money-making tips. And the first video is about the type of strip club customers. There are some different types, um, different archetypes of customers who come to the club. And I show you each different type and how to sell to them. Because talking to a married businessman 
versus a bachelor versus a 20 year old kid versus a married couple in the club there it's very different you're gonna sell to them very differently they all kind of have different vibes and i show you how to talk to each different types of these customers then we get into how to work the room so as you're walking around the room how do you look around and see who has money who should i talk to who can i seduce from afar who can I seduce when I'm on stage? And really how to just maximize your time at the club without wasting so much time talking to everybody and anybody who's around. Then we get into how to spot a time waster. So there are some common red flags that these guys give when they are just there to waste your fucking time. And I'm here to show you them. I've got how to read a customer's body language. So how can you tell from across the room or from in conversation if someone is into you and if they want to spend money on you. Very powerful lesson. This one here so many of you struggle with, conversation starters and how to ask for dances. So if you feel awkward as fuck when it comes to landing the sale, if you're the kind of girl that's like, oh, I sit and talk to customers but I kind of wait for them to ask me if I want to dance. This is the lesson that you're going to want to watch because I give you so many examples of conversation starters and different ways that you can just ask for the sale. Then we're getting into common objections and what to say. So if a customer says, no, I don't want to dance, not right now, maybe later, what can you say to turn that no into a yes? I've got, don't make this mistake with $20 dances. This is a big one. I can't spill the beans too much. But there is a common mistake that I see 80% of girls making when we are doing single song dances. I make this mistake sometimes still. I used to a lot. I'm getting a lot better at it. But I just share how to stop doing that to make you more money. And it fucking works. Then I talk about how to handle objections. And part one is about the mindset. So how to not let it destroy your confidence and your self-esteem. And we really go through the emotions and the trauma and the shadow work that comes with being rejected and being a stripper. And then we talk about the sales. So here are some of the, I talk about like the common reasons why you get rejected and what you can do about it so that you don't experience that as much. We've got ask for more, so how to ask the customers for bigger tips, more dances, more VIPs, asking them to buy you massages, buy you clothes, give you gift cards. We dive into that. Another one, what do you do for an hour in a VIP? I get this question a lot like, an hour seems so long. Do you dance the whole time? Do you talk? What do you do? I give you some tips on how to waste time, how to like stretch the time and how to get them continuously wanting to do another hour on top of that. Then we get into fake drinks, getting customers drunk. The title says enough. I dive into how to respond to customers saying, I want to take you home. I don't buy lap dances, but let's go on a date. Oh, I don't want to dance here. How will you come home and fuck me? How do you respond to that? What do you say? We dive into that. And then the last video in module six is about how to get regular. So how to get customers obsessed with you and how to get them coming back for more and more and more. So moving on to module seven, I talk about manifestation and how you can manifest abundance at work, lots of tips and just a different perspective that you can have because we are able to manifest anything. And even if you're in a slow season or at a bad club, you can still go home with $2,000 nights because you are a vibrational match to what you want. You are manifesting it. The universe is working in your favor. And I talk about really how to be intentional with manifestation, specifically while you're at work. And then I've got two different manifestation rituals that you can follow along and do with me. The first one is about your big goals and intentions. This is one that I recommend doing like at the beginning of the month. And then it's about 40 minutes long. 
And then the second manifest manifestation ritual is about 20 minutes. And this is one that you can do every single night right before you go to work that is going to get you high vibe and feeling just fucking fantastic. So module eight, I still need to make thumbnails, but I just recorded this one yesterday and I had the realization that I'm actually a top earner and that I've been a top earner at every single club that I have ever worked at. And realizing that like, holy shit, I, not only am I a top earner, but I'm a top earner without doing extras. I'm not fucking anybody. I'm not giving blowjobs. I'm not doing any of that shit. I'm a fully clean dancer. I don't scam customers. I don't lie and say, oh yes, you can fuck me in the VIP. But then they get back there and I'm like, oh my God, no. But I do my shit clean and I am still a top earner. And I'm proud of myself for that. And I just share the mindset of what it takes to be a top earner, of the difference between 80% of the other strippers in the club versus the top earners who are always making money, and how you can be a top earner at any club that you work at. Then I've got some affirmations so everyone can afford me affirmations and top earner affirmations, both very powerful. Module 9 is called Boss Bitch, and this is all about being a boss bitch, managing your money. So the first lesson is about just some things about keeping track, managing your money, taxes. I give lots of just advice on being smart because we do make a lot of money, but we also have a tendency to spend a lot of money. So this is just how we can really just be smart about it. I've got a lesson about tracking your finances and how to budget for inconsistent income because some months you might make 10k, the next month you might make two. So how do you budget so that you are not stressed out and feeling like a broke bitch when you do have those slow seasons? Then moving on to module 10, this is also a module that I just recorded a couple weeks ago and it's called Sad Bitch Steal a Bad Bitch. I was going through a little bit of depression, burnout, overwhelm, and I took like, I'm still on a now six week break from dancing, which was so needed for me. And I just kind of share some things. So first I've got bad night at the club, bad night at the club, watch this. So if you're having some bad nights, that video is really helpful for you. And I've got an EFT tapping practice that you can do for when you have bad nights. Another video is about if you're feeling burnt out, overwhelmed, anxiety that keeps you from wanting to go to work, you don't feel motivated at all, that's the video for you. And then I've got a cord cutting meditation to help you release any negative energy from the night. Super powerful because sometimes we meet assholes or we meet customers who don't respect our boundaries or there's drama with girls, or you feel insecure, or just whatever happens, and we get to just release any of that negative energy. Module 11 is just some bonus resources that I will probably be adding even more videos to this as I think of ideas, but I've got one about OnlyFans, sugar daddies, dating and relationships as a stripper, because a lot of the time, guys sometimes think that we're sluts, that we're easy, that we are, they, they sometimes don't respect us when they know that we're a stripper. So how can you date as a stripper? And I give you some tips. And then I just have another video with all the lessons that I've learned since becoming a stripper. And then module, listen to module, I just have all of our follow along practices. So EFT tapping for body confidence, stripper affirmations, bad bitch affirmations, activate your big clit energy affirmations, rich bitch affirmations, affirmations to feel sexy as fuck. Um, I actually have like five more that I just realized I didn't add. They're all on my YouTube, but I have men love to pay me affirmations, attracting rich men. I have, there's another one, bougie bitch affirmations. I just, I'm going to add all of them here so that you can just have access to them. So as you can see, like, me make this big again okay so as you can see there is literally so much in my course like I really try to give as much value as I could to share 
everything that I fucking know. There's over 65 videos. It is all self-paced, and it's just... Here's the deal, babes. Real shit. There is a time limit on how long we can dance. We, this is not a job that you want to do forever, so I want you to make as much money as you can while you're doing it. I want you to make a million dollars as a stripper. I think I've made about half a million so far in the six years that I've been dancing, and I'm not going to stop till I've made a million bitches, and I want you to do that too. It's possible for all of us. There is no reason why any of us should be broke bitches, right? So my course really just helps you with that. And there's so much love and intention in this. And you're just going to notice how well you fucking do. So many of my clients made their investment back the first day, if not their first week. I have one of my clients. She worked in Vegas for, I think she worked for a little more than two weeks. I think it was about 16 days and made over $30,000 in two weeks from my course, okay? And she had so much beautiful feedback for me that really just gave me the confidence that this shit works. So I want all, I want that for all of you, for all of us, really. If you have questions or you're not sure if it's for you or you're not sure if you wanna be a stripper, I have a link in the description so you can schedule a discovery call with me and we can just meet and talk and just, I can answer any questions that you have. And I just want you to know there are payment plans available. So go ahead, click the link in my description to learn more about the course. It is $1,200 for everything. Lifetime access. It's fucking worth it. So worth it. So I hope to see you in my course. I love you so much. If you are not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Subscribe. Hit that button. Let's fucking level up together. Um, I love you so much, and I will see you in the next video.